This episode looks at the life of Catherine of Braganza, the wife of King Charles II of England, Scotland and Ireland. In this episode we look at the life of Catherine from her early days at the Portuguese court, her marriage to Charles II, and her difficult life at the English court. Catherine was born in Portugal on the 25th of November 1638. Her parents were John, the 8th Duke of Braganza and Luisa de Guzman. Her father would overthrow the Spanish Habsburgs rule over Portugal, ending 60 years of Spanish rule. At the end of the Portuguese Restoration War in 1640, two years after Catherine's birth her father would be proclaimed John IV of Portugal and restoring the Portuguese monarchy which was first formed in 1143. Catherine would be one of seven children born to her parents. Her oldest sibling and brother, Teodosio, would become the ninth Duke of Braganza and Prince of Brazil before passing away at the age of 19 in 1653. There would be two older sisters, Anna de Braganca who would die at birth and Jonah who would die in 1653 at the age of 18. Her three younger siblings were all brothers, Afonso, who would succeed his eldest brother, Teodosio, as 10th Duke of Braganza and Prince of Brazil, and also succeed his father as King of Portugal in 1656 becoming Afonso VI before dying at the age of 40 in 1683. Her youngest sibling, Pedro, would succeed Afonso as monarch of Portugal, becoming Peter II in 1683 before his death in 1706 at the age of. Her last brother Manuel de Braganca did not survive his birth in 1640. Catherine would have a very protective upbringing. She would be brought up by her mother, Queen Louisa who as a mother would take a very active interest in her children. Catherine would be raised in a convent close to royal palace, where Queen Louisa would keep a close eye on her daughter's education. Catherine convent education would make her a rather introvert child who was believed to have only left the palace ten times during her youth. Catherine's father would die in 1656 at the age of 52. At this time, her father's heir, Catherine's brother, Afonso, was only a child, and her mother Louisa would rule as a regent until he became of age to rule alone. This left Catherine's mother in the position of looking for a husband for her. Her royal position made her an ideal candidate for many European monarchs including John of Austria, the Duke de Beaufort, Louis XIV of France and Charles II of England. Eventually Charles would be chosen as an ideal candidate, especially for political reasons. During the Treaty of the Pyrenees of 1659, England and Portugal would form an alliance. France would abandon supporting Portugal, in spite of Portugal's tensions with their former rules, Spain. The negotiation for the marriage had started during the reign of Charles I of England. The negotiation for the marriage had started during the reign of Charles I of England. Negotiations though would restart following Cromwell's death and the English Restoration in 1660 when Charles II returned to the English throne. Although Spain would oppose the reunion the contract of marriage would be signed on 23 June 1661. The contract would give possession of the African city of Tangier and seven islands of Bombay to England. English living in Portugal would also be granted religious freedoms and trading privileges. The English crown would also receive 2 million Portuguese crowns as a dowry. In return Portugal would secure English military and naval support as a deterrent against any Spanish aggression. 
Also, as England was prominently a Protestant country and monarchy, Catherine would still be allowed to practice her Catholic faith. Catherine's ship would land in Portsmouth on 13 May 1662, seven days before Charles II, who arrived on 20 May. Catherine and Charles would marry on 21 May 1662, firstly in a secret Catholic ceremony which was then followed by a public Anglican ceremony for the English population.